As you have seen the title, this video is a brief discussion about the face-off between the two Asian giants and its consequences on the Indian students pursuing higher education in China. Before going into details, I would like to welcome you all to our channel Management Academy and if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. The year 2020 has begun with a grim picture of the outbreak COVID-19. In a span of months, the disease turned into a pandemic and has now engulfed the nation in its deadliest virus. The spread of the killer bug has been showing a horrified picture of huge number of deaths across the world, weakening the social and economic strength of the world. Not overcoming with this pathetic situation, India is now facing border tensions with China. Among all these uncertainties, the worst hit are the Indian students studying abroad who now worry their future at stake. The new aspirants who were planning to study abroad are also highly disappointed due to the unpredictable atmosphere in the world. According to the experts and official data, Indians were the fourth largest contingent among foreign students studying in China. As per the Union Ministry of Human Resource Development data 2019, about 23,000 Indian students were enrolled in various higher educational institutions of China, out of which around 21,000 were pursuing medicine while others were enrolled in management, engineering and other language courses. China is a popular educational destination for medical and management courses due to lower fees and better infrastructure compared to private medical colleges in India. According to a survey, after being evacuated from COVID hit China, the students were waiting to see how this will unfold in the next few months this year. But the aggravating border tensions have made them anxious and now they may drop the plan to go back for the next academic session. Further, Boycott China campaign led by Indian Prime Minister has put China's popularity on the wane among the fresh applicants. The digital strike by India has resulted in banning 59 prominent Chinese mobile apps as it was claimed that these apps were a threat to the privacy and security of Indian users and hence can erode the sovereignty of the country. A complete list of the apps banned is displayed here. This is considered to be a welcome move as it is expected that it would now better up market for Indian social network to get popularized. This may result in several other countries joining hands with India against China in this digital strike. One of the most popular Chinese apps was TikTok which had approximately 500 million Indian users. As per some of the leading news articles, among several rivals of TikTok, Bolo India says it will benefit from the ban on its larger rival and will ensure to preserve Indian culture and data security at the highest priority, which is the need of the hour. As per the news articles, several universities in UK and China have mandated online classes till next year, while some other universities are also offering students to adjourn courses to the next semester of the year. Hence, many students are distressed about having paid large sum of money for courses which have now moved entirely online. This has actually amplified the worries of Indian students pursuing education in Chinese universities as they know very well that the situation is unpredictable and there are no signs to get rid of this quickly. Several counseling platforms that help students to study overseas have also stated that they are no more going to promote China as an educational destination this year and are going to look for alternative study destinations 
in Middle Eastern countries and other parts of Asia and Africa. The territorial clash off between the two nations at the Galwan Valley in eastern Ladakh has actually derailed the future of Indian students studying in Chinese universities. The medical students especially who were around 80 to 90% of the total Indian students studying in China are at a greater distress about their continuation of courses in China. According to them, the National Eligibility Come Entrance Test, the NEET test, which is India's one-stop exam for medical admission, usually helps in the month of May every year. But now, according to some of the leading news articles, the Union HRT Ministry has postponed the test till September in the view of rising effect of COVID-19. Hence, until the time NEET is not conducted, the students are in a confused state of mind regarding their studies. Thus, it can be concluded that the longer the clash of continues, the greater is the likelihood that the Indian students may give a miss to the Chinese universities. Hence, it is a time for the government to take a conscious decision considering the young talents of the nation. Hope this was informative to you all. Please share your valuable comments with us regarding this video and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.